Hello, how is everyone? Thanks for joining me, Chris George, on ET Books. We are at the homeschool shelf today, and today we're reviewing what your third reader needs to know. This is a series, it's the Core Knowledge series, as you can see, and it's written by Edie Hirsch, who's also the author of Cultural Literacy. Don't know if you've heard of that one. Um, I recommend this series. This is actually the only one I have in the series, even though I recommend it. I have so many resources, and I'm, I'm one of those eclectic homeschoolers, so I'm, I'm over here and over there and over there, and, and we combine it. Um, however, this is a great resource to let you know, make sure that your child is at least meeting the core standards. This covers history, this covers fine arts, this covers mathematics, of course, and I mean, it even goes into fractions. And yes, in third grade, they are doing fractions. When I was in school, we didn't start learning fractions till fourth grade. Um, this talks about science, electrical units, and honestly, if you miss some of these core things in your homeschooling or you have missed, you can go back and hit it here. I mean, it's a great resource to make sure that if you've gotten off track or you're not quite following this but you want to see what the average third grader is supposed to know, here you go. Or whatever grade. I think it goes up to grade 12. So this is a great resource. We've kept it around even though we're beyond grade 3. We've kept it around because, well, my child wanted to. He wanted to have a reference book to use. And I really, I'm really tempted to sell it. On the other hand, I really like it. Um, even now, I mean, atomic vocabulary, there are some things that we have learned over the years and he's forgotten because that happens and, and repetitiveness helps. So I think I might have to keep this and use it as our review and make sure I don't have any gaps. Now remember, when you use this type of book, any type of book that talks about core standards for a certain grade, you need to make sure that if you're following this closely, you compare it to your state standards because there are state standardization tests and even your school district may vary a little bit from the neighboring school district. Um, so don't make this your only resource. Um, but it's definitely a great guide to help you get started and um, as reference for future use, especially if your child has to take the state test. That, again, will depend on your state. Some homeschools, some homeschooling states have rules that you do have to take the test, and that will be very helpful for things like that, as well as your looking at your Department of Education for your state. So again, I highly recommend this series. Let me know in the comments if you've used it and what you think of it. Um, also, if you would, let me know your favorite uh, homeschool resources because I'm always interested in learning more. Give me a like, share with your friends, and until next time, have a great week. Au revoir.